How frequently and where in the music do you change the direction of the accordion ballad? If your answer is, I don't know, or whenever I want, then stick around because I've got some tips for you that I would have appreciated as a beginner accordionist when my answer was just the same. Hi, I'm Lucy. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, please consider subscribing and like this video and let me know in the comments where you are on your accordion journey and what instrument are you playing. So how often do I change the direction? Your accordion is breathing every time you push and pull. Think about a singer and how often they take a breath. It changes depending on what they're singing and that's exactly the same with accordion. But what you want to avoid is changing the direction too frequently. Imagine a singer taking a breath after every second word. It's kind of uncomfortable and annoying to listen to. It's also very uncomfortable to do. And that's the same with your accordion. I'm going to show you an example now. I'll show you how I used to play Le Noye when I was beginning and how I play Le Noye now. <laughs> So my main tip here is to make the most of the accordion. Don't change too soon because most beginners I see are only using about 50% of the bellows. How do I know when to change direction? If you look at the music, you'll notice there are phrases and I like to change the bellows as a rule of thumb at the end of a phrase and at the start of a new one. What's a phrase you ask? Well, it's a musical sentence or a musical idea. If you're not sure where the phrase begins and ends, try singing the music and see where you naturally take a breath. That's probably where the phrase ends. Sometimes it doesn't always make sense for you to change at the end of a phrase. For example, I know in La Valse d'Amelie, there is a big jump at the end and the start of a new phrase. You go from A minor to F major. That can be difficult to coordinate at the same time as a bellow change. My advice would be to experiment with different parts of the music, but always paying attention to what sounds right. Another clue is to look for slurs in the music. A slur is a curved line over or beneath a group of notes that indicate those notes should be played smoothly or legato without separation. If you were to sing these notes, you would do it in one breath. I'm going to give you an example now of the introduction to a waltz in which there are two groups of slurred notes. I'm going to play it to you two different ways. The first time, I will match the bellows with the slur, and then the second time, I will change the direction in the middle of the slurred phrase. I hope you can hear the difference. But Lucy, 
easy. How am I supposed to remember where and when to change the direction? Easy, you just write it on your music. I haven't come across notation in accordion music to indicate bellows in and bellows out. It may exist, I just haven't come across it. I used to be a viola player and string players all change the bow direction very meticulously and especially in an orchestra you are expected to change the bow at the same time as everyone else in your section. You will stick out like a sore thumb if you don't. To indicate the bow going down we use a three-sided shape that looks like a staple and to indicate the bow going up we use a V. So I've taken this system and I use it for my accordion. I use the down bow as bellows out and the up bow as bellows in. How much pressure do I use? How hard do I push? How hard do I pull? Well, let's look at the possibilities. If you use as much force as possible, you're going to play as loud as possible. If you put as little pressure as possible, you're going to be playing as soft as possible. You need to find a pressure point that allows you to increase the pressure, to increase volume, and also allows you to reduce the pressure, to create a softer sound. Okay, Lucy, so I found a happy medium, but there's no markings in my music to play loud or soft. Does that mean I just keep the same pressure? Not all music has markings for volume in it, but that doesn't mean you have to keep the same pressure. That would create a rather boring experience for your listener. There's so many different ways to play a phrase depending on your personal interpretation. Every musician will create a different sound. But one thing to keep in mind is that a phrase often ends softer than when it began. Try this. Ease the pressure off the bellows when you're coming to the end of a phrase. Imagine you're putting down a fragile piece of fine china onto a table. Right now I'm going to demonstrate how to play expressively using various ranges of pressure on the bellows. You can accent certain notes in a phrase to help bring out the melody. Sometimes not all the notes in the phrase are the melody. Not all those notes are notes that you would sing. I'm going to give you an example of a section of La Valse d'Amélie. Just pay attention to the melody and then the notes that are accompanying the melody. <laughs> So there you go, you have my tips for better control of your accordion. I hope this was helpful to you. If it is, leave me a comment and like this video and subscribe so you can be here for the next one. Thank you so much. Happy practicing and have a wonderful day. Bye.